Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to convert a Cisco phone to SIP using Call Manager. And then I'll show you in St. Goma how to associate that phone to an extension and make sure the extension is built properly to work with the Cisco phone. The first thing you'll need to do is get your phone registered to Call Manager. That will can be done either way you would like to by using auto registration or if you would wish to build a device by adding a new device you can do that as well. In this video I already have a device built and that's the one I'll be using to convert to SIP. So once the phone is registered you'll want to go to device, device settings, and device defaults. Under device defaults, you'll want to find the model phone that you're converting to SIP. You can do that by looking on the left. Our phone for this purpose is a 7960, so I will go down and select the 7960 phone. This is the 7960 skinny load, and this is the 7960 SIP load. You'll copy this file name, and then go back to your phone by going to device and then phone. Select the device that you're going to use that you've got built and scroll down to just below the owner user ID to where it says phone load name and paste your file name there. From here you'll save your phone and reset your phone. Now on the phone side, you'll see the phone fully reset. It'll go down, it'll come back up, and you'll see it upgrade itself with the SIP load. Once the phone has completed the SIP load upgrade, the phone will come back up, but it will not be able to register to Call Manager because the device is built as a skinny phone in Call Manager and you have a SIP device trying to connect. That is perfectly fine for using the phone to work with Sangoma. We could delete this device and rebuild it as a SIP device and then the phone would register no problem. But because we're trying to get this phone registered to Sangoma, then we will not be doing this feature. What you'll need to do after this is take the phone <clears throat> and look at it and you can either Remove the option 150 and add an option 66 to point to the Sangoma server or you can change the alternate TFTP server on the phone to point to the Sangoma server. Either way will get the phone pointed directly to Sangoma. So the next step now that we have the phone converted to SIP is to get it registered to Sangoma. And the way we do that is we go to PBX Admin, we go to Modules, we go to Extension Man Endpoint Manager. Once we're in Endpoint Manager, we select the uh, button on the right and go to Extension Mapping. In Extension Mapping, you'll have a list of all your phones. <clears throat> For this purpose, we want to add a new extension, so we'll click Add Extension. In the Add Extensions area, you'll select the extension that will be associated to the phone. You'll select the account that will be used to associate to the phone. You'll select the brand, which is a Cisco phone, and you'll enter the MAC address from the phone into this area here. I'm going to use a, a default AABBCC112233. Uh, the next thing you'll select is the template and the I mean the uh, yeah the template and then the model which ours is a 7960 and then you'll click use selected oh that's because what we're wanting to do is save and rebuild config so we'll select you use selected and it'll take it a second and the wheel will spin and it'll come up now We've got our phone. We can search for the extension we added, which was 4014 to our temporary phone. 
and we'll so click the extension number here. This will take us to the extension configuration. Now, if you've bulked your extensions in and you have all your settings right on your bulk, then you really won't have to do anything here. But if you haven't bulked your extensions and you're wanting to verify information and make sure that the Cisco phone can register to Sangoma, there are a few items you need to confirm or set properly. The first is that the secret is not the default 32-bit, 32 32-character 32 secret that Sangoma creates. I would suggest making this secret anywhere from 18 to 15 characters. Eight, I mean, 8 to 15 characters, maybe 8 to 12 characters. For our purpose, we'll just use Cisco, no space, and that'll be our password for this extension. The next thing you want to check is under the Advanced tab, you want to select Advanced and you want to scroll down until you've made it to um, <clears throat> and I apologize, this particular extension is not configured properly um, for the correct items here. So we'll go to a different extension real quick. Um, that, that extension is configured for a PJ SIP and you have to use Chan SIP to function with Call Manager. So we're at Chan SIP, we put in the password, we select Advanced, and then we scroll down, and these are the areas I was looking for. NAT mode and port. You need to select the NAT mode to know, and the port number needs to be 5160. If you don't do these three items, the phone will not register. The 5160 is the port that the SIP Cisco phone is listening to call manager on. The NAT mode, I'm not 100% sure why, but if you have NAT mode turned on, the phone won't register. The secret, the default secret is 32 characters. That's one that Sangoma comes up with if you um, just bulk create extensions in Sangoma. The problem with that is it's not documented, but Cisco phones do not like a 32-bit, a 32-character extension uh, secret. They they will not function with it. They just, it's something about it that they don't like and they will not register. So we have found that you need to shrink that, that secret down to an eight to 12 character. It can be no, I mean, you don't have to have one at all if you don't want, but I like to make it an eight to 12 character secret. Once you've selected those items, your secret, your NAT mode, and your port, and you, you'll click submit, It'll take a second to run, and then you'll click Apply Config. Um, the Apply Config builds the database in Asterix and reboots the Asterix uh, config file real quick so that it has the proper information. Um, and once you've done those things, then your phone on your Cisco side, if it's a newer 7942, 62, 41, 61 model phone or a phone that saves its ITL file, then you'll need to make sure that it does not have an ITL file from the call manager on it, the Cisco call manager. That ITL file will prevent the phone from registering the Sangoma. The best practice is to go in to ITL, erase the file, let it do its little thing, and then power cycle the phone. It does a reboot after deleting the ITL, but it's not a full reboot. And it doesn't try to connect to Sangoma properly. The best thing to do is to, once you've deleted the ITL file, power cycle the phone, and it should come back up. It'll take a few minutes, it'll pull its config from Sangoma, and then you'll have a Cisco phone register to Sangoma FreePBX. Thank you, and leave any questions in the comments.